نعوذ ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما أما بعد فإن أصدق الحديث كتاب الله تعالى وخير الهدى هدى محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وسلم وشر الأمور محدثاتها وكل محدثة بدعة وكل بدعة ضلالة وكل ضلالة في النار Dear brothers and sisters Inshallah in this short reminder بإذن الله تعالى in this khutbah I would like to remind you about a few points pertaining to what has been happening within the past week and this week about the issue that is currently happening, which is not new, and that is the Muslims being massacred, the Muslims being tortured, the Muslims being treated unfairly and unjustly. Uh, this is something that has been going on and on. It's just that every time it happens in a different location. And when those things happen, different reactions. It's as if some of us don't know that this is happening and then they get passionate or they get emotional at those moments. When these things pass by or happen and go away, then we forget about uh, what is happening. However, when the, at the heat of the moment, people feel you know, some sort of uh, passion, some sort of emotions, which is a good thing, but this is something that is supposed to be ongoing for our deen, for our religion, for Islam and Muslims. This is something that needs to be ongoing, not only occasional when we see things that look in our eyes uh, very bad, and they are very bad, far worse than being described as bad, but in the end, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'oon. We belong to Allah and to Him we will return. And Allahumma ajurna fi musibatina hadhi wa khluf lana khairan minha. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to reward us regarding whatever calamities that befall us and to uh, replace us and to give us something that is better than what has happened uh, to us. And then not stop there, but now what's next? What's next? How good are we as Muslims? How much practicing are we as Muslims? How much do we intend to practice of our deen in order to be fit, in order to be qualified for the support and the help of Allah, the victory of Allah to come to us? This victory, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the owner of everything. He is the all-powerful. He, subhanahu wa ta'ala, raises and lowers. So if we have the credentials, if we have the qualifications, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will raise our status up and will make us victorious and will support us. If we are not, then uh, this uh, state of affairs will continue uh, to be. So those uh, few points that I would like to mention is that when these things happen, uh, the enemies sometimes they magnify some of the uh, things, some of the news. Uh, a fight is just starting or st started for a long while and the Muslims are still holding up. But the news come out, oh, the city fall. Already the city has fell. The enemies have taken it over. All parts of it. When Still, the news did not happen like that, and it is not like that. But this is just to make the people feel, you know, defeated, feel disappointed. And we know that the news agencies and what they do to, uh, you know, support a certain 
uh, group over another. This is something that is uh, ongoing for a long time. So we, not, we need not be deceived by those issues. Sometimes they also um, uh, exaggerate in some of the scenes or some of the things that happened, which are actually maybe uh, sometimes, not all the times, but sometimes the, those scenes are shot by the enemies themselves to instill fear, terror, to terrify the people so that they will give up, they will give in, they will surrender, they will submit to the will of their uh, enemies. So we also need to be aware of that. Although there are so many scenes that are true which will only serve as evidence against those enemies and whatever evil they are committing and whatever they are doing. Also, we sometimes see the people who show up crying and screaming, wailing, and showing uh, and saying words that show that they are displeased with the qadr of Allah, displeased with whatever happened to them or to their loved ones, or that this is uh, something they direct the blame, وَلَيَذُ بِاللَّهِ تَعَالَى towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who is all perfect, subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, so we need to beware of that. Those things that will take someone outside of the fold of Al-Islam by showing displeasure, showing anger with the Creator, with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is something that we need to be uh, aware of. And uh, if you are struck with a calamity, as a believer, you will say, Hasbunallah wa ni'mal wakil. Allah is enough for us. He is the best trustee. You say, Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. We belong to Allah, to Him we will return. What has befallen us has happened by the qadr of Allah. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, He owns everything and He has the right to do everything and He does that with justice, wisdom and knowledge. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to be pleased with Allah. We, if there is displeasure, then that which should be directed to the actions of the humans who are the evil ones. As for Allah, as Rasulullah said, وَالشَّرُّ لَيْسَ إِلَيْكَ Evil is not to be referred to Allah. Although those evils, everything is created by Allah. Allah is the creator and everything else is created. And whatever Allah wishes, it will come to pass. Whatever He does not wish, it will not happen. We are aware of that. But then, it, we shouldn't be that we refer the evil to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we refer the good things to the humans. This is uh, reversing the issue. So we need to be aware of what is being shown, what is being said by uh, some uh, of the people. And then, direction, some of those who show up, they attack the scholars they attack the people of the religion. They attack the people who are practicing as to what have they done. It's all because of them. It's all because of, and, and so on and so forth. Some of the people who are living a, a life that has nothing to do with religion, uh, some calamities have befallen them, then they, attributed, they attribute them to the people of the religion. It is because of them. It is because of the deen. And this is not something new. Unfortunately, sometimes these days, uh, words are said by those who claim to be Muslims. But those actually are the words of the disbelievers. They said that about Musa, والسلام. They said that about Muhammad, والسلام. And they said that about prophets before them. That it's because of you this problem is happening to us. That's what their people were saying to them now. It's being directed towards the religion and towards the people of the religion who uh, are not uh, powerful or they do not have the means to change those situations. So we need to be aware of that. Also, we find that the people are completely unaware about the reward of the shaheed, of the martyr. The reward of the one who dies as an oppressed person. The one who is oppressed, al-maqtul shahidan, or 
مظلوماً they forget or, or any actually any any little problem regardless how little it may be that happens to the one who is in the way of Allah then the reward with Allah is so great and so immense and uh, the people forget this fact and this torture this torture that the disbelievers and their allies inflict and do to the believers this is something that is not new it is very old suffice for you to recite surah al buruj al buruj and what allah says in it and the story of the people of al ukhdud and what happened in that story they had nothing against them but that they believed in Allah, the Almighty, the All Praiseworthy, Subhanahu wa Taala. That is the problem that they had uh, with them. So uh, we need to spread when these things are mentioned. Yes, we feel the pain, we feel the sorrow. We mention that this happened, that happened. I saw this, I saw that. But then at the same time, how great their rewards! Uh, are and how excellent the reward of those people are with Allah and that well, what is with Allah for them is far far greater than those problems that happened uh, to uh, those individuals we need to keep this in mind we are a people of Akhirah the Muslims they look up to the next life they don't aggrandize the worldly life and what happens to it. All of this world compared to the next life, it is nothing. At the same time, we feel the pain of our brothers and sisters. At the same time, we envy them for the reward that they will receive with Allah. Remember that Al-Jannah tahta zilal al-suyuf. Al-Jannah tahta zilal al-suyuf. And this is part of the topic that we have been dealing with, the doors of paradise. And this topic will come, inshallah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when we talk about specifically the door of al-jihad. But the paradise is under the shades of the swords. So the believers who aim for paradise, that's their first and foremost thing that they care about, they realize this fact and they know that those people are truly leaving to something that is better for them, insha'Allah. الحمد لله رب العالمين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى أزواجه وذريته كما صليت على آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى أزواجه وذريته كما باركت على آل إبراهيم إنك حميد مجيد The brothers and sisters Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says about his messenger Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم he is the one who sent his messenger with guidance and religion of truth. ليظهره على الدين كله to make it superior, to make it manifest over the rest of the religion. وكفى بالله شهيدا and Allah is enough as a witness. This is a belief. We believe. We, we believe in this. This is part of our creed. This is part of our belief, part of our aqidah, that Islam will reach every corner. Bayt Madar wa Bayt Wabar. Any type of a home, it will enter it. Whether the people are Bedouins or nomads, or they were people who dwell in villages and cities, Islam will reach far and wide. It happened. It continues to happen and it will go on till 
the day of judgment. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala min wara'ihim muhit. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all encompassing of all what the disbelievers are doing. Innahum yakiduna kayda. Surely they do plot a plotting. Wa akidu kayda. And I plot plotting. That is against them. Treating them in the same way as they are plotting, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is plotting. فَمَهِّلِ الْكَافِرِينَ أَمْهِلْهُمْ رُوَيْدًا Give them respite. Those disbelievers, give them some time. Give them little time. This is uh, what is going on, and it will continue to go on. What is upon us in these times is to use whatever is on our means here, and that is, first and foremost, not forgetting our brothers and sisters from the dua, making dua for them all the time in our salah and in the times where the dua is acceptable, we should not be just asking for ourselves. We should remember other Muslims, brothers and sisters who are going through hardship and going through pain. We need to make dua for them. And we need to remember them all the time. Not only when a problem happens, then we remember to make dua for so and so people. We should have this all the time. When you make dua for yourself, make dua for the other Muslims, especially those who are in trouble, going through uh, rough times. And you make dua for them that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will save them and protect them. And you make dua for them that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, 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 defend them from uh, the attacks of their enemies. These are the main things that you should always uh, remember. And we should always make dua for those brothers and sisters time and again. Because if the Jumu'ahs will turn into, some of us might wonder, they come to a Jumu'ah, they have to hear what's happening, current, current things that are happening. They hear khutbah about sujood al sahu or how to do this in your salah, or the wudu, or this. They say, what's going on? You know, people are being killed, and we are... If we change those topics, and every khutbah we talk about the calamities of the Muslims, then many of us are hearing this outside, and they will come and hear it again sad and you become sadder so unless we direct ourselves always to do the positive things the positive things that are within our means first and foremost is dua and if you are not being righteous your dua where is it going to go without righteousness up unto him subhanahu wa ta'ala rises the good words. وَالْعَمَلُ الصَّالِحْ يَرْفَعُ According to one of the meanings of this ayah, and the righteous deeds will raise it up. You do dhikr, you do dua. When you do a righteous deed, this dua will be pushed up by, by your righteous actions. But if you are not righteous and you are making dua, then what will happen? If we are reminded of righteousness and how to be righteous and what exactly we should be doing, then our mind unfortunately turns the other way. Why are we talking about this and our brothers and sisters being killed? What can we do for them other than first and foremost the dua always, not just this time and that time. As Rasulullah he used to make dua for the Muslims and this has passed before. Every salah. He used to do that. He made dua for Aisha. She was very happy. And he said, why are you happy? She said, you made dua for me. He said, this is my dua for my ummah, every salah. This is how he was, alayhi as-salatu was salam. So this is what we need to do, along with any other good means that is suitable. Uh, helping financially, helping by word of mouth, helping in every way that is going to help and is not going to bring 
any harm to ourselves and to those Muslims and any other Muslim uh, uh, in the world. So this is basically what it is. Uh, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to benefit all of us uh, from what we heard to make us from a people who listen to a statement and follow the best of it. Allahumma najji al-mustadhafina min al-mu'mineen. Allahumma adkhilhum mudkhala sidq wa akhrijhum mukhraja sidq wa ajallahum min ladunka sultanan nasira. Allahumma alayka bi'aduwika wa aduwihim. Allahumma ahsihim adada wa qtulhum badada wa la tughadir minhum ahada. Allahumma ajal tadbirahum tadmirahum. اللهم اجعل تدبيرهم تدميرهم اللهم اجعل دائرة السوء تدور عليهم اللهم اجعل دائرة السوء تدور عليهم اللهم اجعل دائرة السوء تدور عليهم اللهم ارحمنا واغفر لنا ولوالدينا ولمن له حق علينا وللمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات نسألك اللهم الجنة وما قرب إليها من قول أو عمل ونعوذ بك من النار وما قرب إليها من قول أو عمل ونسألك أن تجعل كل قضاء قضيته لنا ولإخواننا المسلمين خيرا اللهم اغفر لنا ولوالدينا ولمن له حق علينا وللمؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات الأحياء منهم والأموات ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة في الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار